Hey, I hope that you all are doing really well today. I went to Publix and Harris Teeter. Um, both places were out of the nutritional yeast that I needed and I think I saw the mini cucumbers at Publix and I forgot. So those are two things that I still have to pick up at some point. Um, because my kids didn't get mac and cheese this week and they're looking for it. So <laughs> I'm going to have to get that. But I'm going to start with Harris Teeter. I had so much fun shopping. Like there were some really, really great deals this week. So let's get started. So I realized that I needed some black beans and I specifically need them for a recipe that I'm making this week. It's a cheesy um, casserole with black beans and tortillas. So I had to pick these up, but these were only on sale for just a dollar. So I got four bags of those. All of the organic frozen veggies, not veggies, fruits are on sale for $2.50. So I got blueberry, I got pineapple, I got cherries, and I think I got peaches. So the Ben and Jerry's ice cream and it's another one too are on Evic for $2.97. But I think the cookie dough one is the only one, at least in my store, that qualifies for that. But I had a two off or two digital coupon, so it made it just $1.97 for each one of them, which is really, really great. The flour tortillas, as well as the corn tortillas or BOGO. So I got these. I'm going to make the kids some pizza quesadillas, and we'll also have them for tacos, so I'll probably just put one in the freezer because we won't need both this week probably and then I got the corn tortillas for that casserole the soy sauce this is a pretty big one 20 ounce it was on sale for $3.99 so I got that we were out of ketchup so I got this one it was $2.99 then I got these jalapeno peppers I thought these would be good to go on pizza and sometimes whenever we make like wraps and stuff because I like jalapeno peppers. I only have one onion left, so I picked these up. I think they were $2.99. The raisins, these are like $3.49, but I love raisins in my oatmeal, so I got those. The oranges, I think these were $3.99 maybe. Let's see. Oh, and I got mixed veggies too. These were $1.79. And so was the corn. And then the raisin rooted, they like the um, nuggets. So these filet sandwiches were, well not sandwiches, but just the patties, were $5.49. And then I had a $2 digital. So it made it $3.49 for a four pack. The Silk Next Milk is regular price at $4.99, but I needed some milk. But I had a $2.50 digital and then $1 back on Ibotta. And then plus $0.10 cent for any milk on Ibotta. So it made it just $1.40. I'm sure there will be a really great sale soon that will make it like free. But I decided to go ahead and pick that up. And then I saw this. It's the Goju Chain Chow Mein with zucchini stars. It looks so good. I'm hoping that it is. Whenever... We got the tattoo chef, like the, it was like a rice stuffing mix or something around Thanksgiving. I didn't really care for that, but this looks really promising, so hopefully it's good. But this was like $2 and something. It was BOGO, so I'm excited to try that. I think that is everything for Harris Teeter. Let me go over my receipt and see here. Um, yep. So the tortillas were 84 cent. What is that? Hmm. Oh, the raisins, let's see, yeah. <laughs> There's everything else. The milk, the ice cream, such a great deal. Oh, so excited about that. So it was 70.67. And I scanned my receipt to Mary Phil got 50 points, 39 points on Fetch for like the Ben and Jerry's, and then a dollar ten back from Ibotta. So it makes all of these items 69.49. And 
And then Publix was a lot of fun. Publix is always fun. Like, no one has better Vogos than Publix. So I found these um, ground flax seeds for 55 cents each. So I picked up two of those. The base killer bread, um, the bagels, the breakfast bread, and the English muffins are BOGO. I really wanted to get the breakfast bread, but my store didn't have any because I had not bought a rebate for that as well as for the muffins. But I got the bagels because I knew that that would be something quick and easy for us to have um, when we head out the door for games and stuff this weekend. And we haven't tried our maple butter yet, so I am just envisioning all types of goodness with this cinnamon raisin bread and that maple butter. I cannot wait. But these were BOGO. I think $5.99, so it makes them like $3 each. These were also Bozo $5.99, and then I had a dollar back for each one on Ibotta, so it made them two for four. So I'm excited to get these so I can have my veggie burgers. These um, little mini spring rolls, they were Bogo, and I would have picked up two boxes, but there was only one left on the shelf, but it made it like $3 and some um, change. So I thought that was pretty good. You guys can have when they're watching the football game. So that'll be a nice little snack for them. If you guys remember, I posted this on the community tab about the free creamer. So I decided to pick that up this week. My father-in-law's coming into town. He doesn't usually use creamer, but I'll have it just in case he wants some. And then I picked this up, um, the oat milk vanilla latte. This was Bogo, and then I have a dollar back for my bottle, so it made it like 65 cents. The Barilla Pasta, these are on sale for $2.50. I had a dollar fifty digital off of one, and then I found a Peely on something, I think it was last week, and it had like a couple different Barilla items in it. But I thought the coupon said $1.25, but whenever it scanned, or maybe I just... I was looking at something else, but it scanned for a dollar fifty off. Um, so it made them each a dollar, and then I had a dollar twenty-five back on Maryfield, so it made them free plus a twenty-five cent money maker for each one of those. They had the cabbage again this week for forty-nine cent a pound, and I actually cooked my other cabbage for dinner tonight, so this was right on time. The fresh cravings hummus. This was Bogo plus I had back fifty cent on I bought it, so it made it like a dollar and maybe 70 cents or something like that, I think. The Miyoko's butter, I don't think I've tried this before. I don't think I have. But this was BOGO, and it was regular price, like $6.79. Um, but I'm really excited to try this. Like, it has really, really great reviews, so we'll see. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> I think it was yesterday I saw this digital pop up, or maybe it was earlier today, I can't remember for um, $10 off when you buy a $50 Happy Her gift card. $10 off, $10, no, $50 or more of groceries when you buy this $50 gift card. So I did that, so I got an extra $10 off as well. Um, the Annie's mac and cheese is BOGO, and then I had an offer for 75 cent back on Fetch. It didn't catch it automatically, so I put in a ticket, so hopefully I'll get that back, but I'm including it because Fetch is usually really, really awesome. The Siete um, tortilla chips are two for seven, and I had a dollar back on two on Ibotta. I've tried the plain ones before, but I haven't tried these um, dairy-free nacho ones, so I'm excited to see how those are. I needed some walnuts. So I got these, they were $3.99. And then I like to have these in my oatmeal sometimes to slice almonds. So I picked these up too. The tandoori bread was on sale BOGO, so I picked up two of those. And then the hefty bags are on sale for $2 each. And then I had a two off of two digital, so it made them just a dollar each. And I think that's everything for Publix, yeah. Some really really great deals though especially with that 10 off of 50 but let me share my receipt oh yeah so i made them 350 for the little spring rolls and here is everything oh and 
I had scanned the Ithaca um, pouch was at a but $2.99 back when you buy two on Ibotta because they were separate from the regular Ithaca where my regular Ithaca was, Ithaca hummus, it had two for five. And so I thought it was that one. But then when I looked at the tag after I had um, scanned it and it didn't ring up correctly, <laughs> I saw that it said the little three ounce pouch. So I'll wait for the pouch to go on BOGO because a dollar for each one of those just didn't seem like a good deal for me. Um, and then the regular hummus was not on sale, so I had them to take that one off too. There is everything. So there's that coupon I had. There's the digital, the dear digital, um, the Barilla one, and then the $10. So it was $94.94, but then minus that $50 gift card, it was $44.94. So I should get back $0.75 cents from Fetch. I got back $4.50 from Ibotta. That was $2 for the English muffins, $1 for the iced coffee, 50 cent for the hummus, and then $1 for the CSA. And then also I'm getting back $4.12 or 4,125 points from Maryfield because I think I got like 300 points or like 30 cent for each Dave's Killer Bread item and then plus the bonus for the Barilla. So that was really, really great. So in total, all of these items here cost $35.57 and everything together is $105.06, which I am super happy about because we still have a bag of grapes left and we have a couple apples left. Um, so I was really just, you know, like I always do, getting the sales and getting what we actually need for the week. So now that it's cooling off a little bit, I'm gonna be having pot pie one day. I know we're gonna have um, spaghetti one night. We're gonna have this hearty um, white bean and basil soup I'm really excited about. I haven't tried that before. But I've tried like this Tuscan white bean dish before. So I'm thinking it's going to be something similar to that. I wanted to get some gold potatoes so I could do diced potatoes to go with the bagels. But I just couldn't bring myself to pay what it was for that five pound bag of potatoes. So <laughs> I left it right there at the store. And, you know, hopefully we'll see some better deals now that it's starting to um, cool off some. But yeah, this is everything. Make sure that um, y'all are scanning your receipts to Fetch and Maryfield and Amazon panel and using Ibotta. Oh, and an update on Ibotta. So they changed the policy again where you can use um, coupons on rebates as long as they don't say not to use a coupon on them. So that's really great. So we can still make it do what it do. Um, but yeah, that is everything. Thank y'all so much for being here and, um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.